obviously I've got all the veg out here. I'm going to start off by weighing about 800 grams of vegetables for the guinea pigs. Here we go, that's the guinea pig veg for the day. So this is all of the rabbit's veg for the day. Now time to make the veg for my hamster and the gerbils. Hello piggies, how are you doing? The guinea pigs don't let you come in unless you have food. As you can see, <laughs> they attack you. Got the veg here. I take about a third of this out. Then I just put that on the side so it's always at a good temperature for them and it's not too cold because that could cause digestive problems so that stays here the whole day now just to open up the guinea pigs cat mm -hmm. flap Now what I do is I let the rabbits out into the playpen whilst I clean their cage. So now what I do is clean out the hutch, so I'm just going to lift the lid up. And I've got these gloves on just because I guess it's more hygienic in a way. I'm just taking all the straw out, then I'm going to spot clean in the litter tray. Then all I do is just sweep up the rest of the hutch. Then I'll fill up the hay rack. Oh, <laughs> Jasper's scared. You feel safe up there. <laughs> you can watch from a distance. Now what I do is remove any uneaten food, not from this morning, but from last night, and then just do a general sweep of the floor. Jasper's come with me again because he needs to make his daily visit to the guinea pigs. So we'll go on in. Hey. 
Now guinea pigs aren't as clean as rabbits in the fact that they pee and poop wherever they like. They don't use a litter tray, well at least mine don't anyway. So this is what it looks like on a morning when I come in. So poop everywhere. Yeah, it's quite messy. Isn't it Jasper? So we need to do a big clean up. So I just basically take out any soil bedding or straw. So then I just replace it with fresh Megazorb. just stop them from chewing this flooring really. The main places that they do like the mess is under here and under like the houses and stuff so yeah just going to give that a quick clean so i just take out all this hay which they managed to pull out of the hay racks then i take this and just scoop up the majority of the bedding some clean bedding. So I'm almost done cleaning out the guinea pigs now but I have got to top up the hay racks and also go and put some hay outside for them. Milty, stop chewing my camera strap. <laughs> I just dispose of all the mess so I just put it in these green bins and then they go to the tip Bless him. Do you want to go outside again? Mabel is a guinea pig, if you don't know if you're new to my channel, and she has a tumour and she is in a bit of discomfort, so because the weather's getting colder, I've been putting her inside in the house, and at the minute she's not getting interaction with the other guinea pigs. So I then thought maybe I should put her out for the day and then bring her in overnight. So I'm going to be taking her back out again today so she can just have some social interaction. She's been getting pain relief twice a day and seems to have helped quite a bit. So you can see like she's looking out and stuff and she just looks a lot happier since having this. I gave her the first lot last night. Um, so yeah, just going to let her 
have this. She's amazing at taking medicine. You're about to see how good she is. How cute is that? Oh, <laughs> we swallowed it. So if I'm completely honest, I expect the others will be a bit funny with her because she's not been around for a few days so they may pick on her a little bit but I feel it's important she does get that interaction because, you know, she really does need to spend time with the others again. Hopefully they'll just accept that she's back with them. Hi Jasper! <laughs> so I'll just help her out. There you go. Hi Jasper! Oh, <laughs> hello. <laughs> He'll probably spend the whole day up there because he loves it. He, he really loves the guinea pigs. <laughs> the time is about half past three now and I'm going to put the guinea pigs out on the grass. It's around about half past four now and I'm just going to look after the gerbils right now. <laughs> Feeding treats is a really good way to bond with your gerbils and I really do recommend it if you want to have a better bond with them, it really does help them trust you. Then I'm just going to scatter this all over their enclosure. I then just take a small amount of these dried herbs, I just pick those out and scatter that as well. I actually have some leftover Timothy hay so I'm just going to be putting this in their digging area because that's where their nest is. Um, if he's awake at the time when I feed the gerbils then I'll just go and feed him as well. Just take a small handful. Again I'll just give him some dried herbs. I've got their fresh veggies here. It's now time to go for a walk with this one. Yeah. He's already been on a walk, but he's getting another one. I didn't go, so yeah. Wanted to film with him. Also, gonna try and get some forage, so that'd be good to show. Should we go then? Need to put your harness on. At this point, he normally runs away. <laughs> Oh, do you want to go? Yeah, you want to go? I'm so excited. See what I mean? How you get so hyper when it's this time. <laughs> it's really cold and it's really windy, but I still need to get some forage. So just come around this bit here. There's lots of grass, hazel, like trees over there. Tastes good. Good leg. Dirty boy. You 
can see all the guinea pigs are outside still and they're squeaking and it's really good to see Mabel coming up to the bars. <laughs> so I'm just doing health checks at the minute. We've got Panda on the scales. I've just done a few jobs here and there which I didn't film because it's kind of just boring things like changing their water, yeah just giving them plenty of food and everything, locking up their door for the night. <laughs> 